Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a Twin Flame Divine Masculine reading. I've been really called to do uh, Twin Flame readings at the current moment. I do have a lot of astrological readings to get to, but I feel like there's been a lot of maybe grief, sadness, frustration, confusion, not knowing where this journey is heading, feeling like a lot has happened and yet nothing has happened um excuse my cup of ice so um <clears throat> i feel like you guys need support as feminines and masculines just to see what both sides are feeling okay i'm going to use this sailor moon tarot deck it's a pleasure to be connecting with you guys after i've been going through a lot of my own personal struggles and um thank you guys for sticking with me so i may do an extended on the uh, on my patreon here for my patreon peeps who have been very loyal all right we're gonna tap into the feminine side and the masculine side here i'm gonna say no reversal starting off so what's the feminine's energy my dog doesn't like the sage four of cups this is feeling uh, i feel very like feminine's just feeling very unhappy unsure of themselves maybe really fixating on things that aren't working out the masculine's got chariot cancer energy okay so you could be dealing with a masculine look at this two of cups on the bottom wow okay so what is the feminine's four of cups about feeling rejected feeling like an offer wasn't taken What is this Feminine's Four of Cups about? The lovers. Oh my God, you guys. See, I think the Feminines are feeling really disheartened because they feel, I feel like right now with Mercury retrograde, all these eclipses, there's an intensified need almost for intimacy. And it's almost like the feminines finally feel, I think the feminines thought they were ready before, but they really finally feel that love in their heart that they want to be able to share. And they know that it's like they're right on the brink of this connection. They're right, they could feel their lover in a way they've never felt before, but they're like, it's still not manifesting. Like, what is the missing piece? That's what I feel like feminines are wondering. Like, what is the missing piece here? Because I know I'm destined for this partnership. The devil. Hmm. This is fear, guys. This is like that little shadow on your shoulder telling you you're never going to have what you want. You, you're you being deprived. You're not going to be able to manifest. You're in a low vibration. I keep wanting to get masculine side here. Okay, we've got King of Wands and Eight of Pentacles. The masculine's really working on going after things that they want and putting the work in here. Um, really, it's almost like they want to even be able to show the world this connection. Like, like a show-off kind of energy where it's like they don't want to hide it anymore. They don't want to hide their feelings. Got Justice, Karma, Five of Pentacles king of cups we have the king of cups and the king of wands and four of pentacles okay so i feel like the masculine is also right at the brink of making something happen and like following their heart but there is a little bit of an abandonment fear that they're holding on to so what is this about ten of wands it's something it's something in their life that's really burdening them. It could be finances, but I don't, it could even be, I'm hearing childhood. We've got the Hermit, Virgo energy, Queen of Cups, Page of Swords, and Knight of Swords. You know what it all, okay, my phone just did something so weird. I'm going to have to combine these. I feel like the masculine is afraid of people talking because through this whole process, a lot of other parties have been involved in this and the masculine wants things to be very sacred. They want to have this, look at this, the queen of cups and the king of cups. They want to have this connection. They want to have this intimacy. They want to go for it, but they also like you guys both have been living a very solitary life 
and they don't know how to break back into like this world of like having a connection where other people will know about it. It's almost like it's so sacred and they're afraid that people are going to talk. That's what I'm that's what I'm hearing. The masculine is afraid of what people are going to say. They're afraid of being challenged by the people in their life. My feet are really burning as I do this reading. I don't know why. All right, what does the masculine want to say to the feminine? Probably won't do an extended because I'm getting too many symptoms here. I don't want to let you go. That is what I was getting from the Four of Pentacles. That's a holding on energy. Um, the masculine may have really faced some fear of abandonment here and they're realizing how much they can't let you go and like they won't let you go. But some of you are probably like, but you did let me go. My foot is killing me like burning. I find you so attractive. There is definitely someone of the viewer here watching that is drawn to you, that's in love with you, that has feelings for you. We have King of Wands and King of Cups. They have passion for you. Look at this. I want you so badly. I feel so happy with you. I won't let you down. They want to be sure that this time around, you guys, this time maybe I'll be bulletproof. I don't know why that just came through, but they want things to be different this time. Look, karma is on the bottom here. We did have justice, Libra energy. So what's the overall energy between the masculine and the feminine right now? What's the overall energy? Cognizance. This is awareness. This is also, I think, judgment. This is something has happened in the masculine's life to make them aware of this connection. Okay. Cognizance is hierophant, actually. It's Taurus energy. It's commitment. It's like they've never let you go. That's what I'm hearing. They've never let you go. Let's see what it says in the book here with the Hierophant. Because this book has like mantras and stuff. Okay, it says, I gather awareness into my basket. To try to view everyone you encounter as a teacher. We are all just walking each other home by Ram Dass has a perfect application here. Whether or not we learn a particularly pleasant lesson from certain people is another story, but it's still a lesson nonetheless. Gather as much as you can, but remain mindful of being too superficial. See how you could actually apply what you are learning to your life and honor those who have provided you with the lessons with gratitude. Guidance, swiftness, learning, everyone is a teacher. So we did have the hermit here. I do feel like um, the masculine is realizing how much they've learned from this dynamic with the feminine as well. Okay. Let's get one overall card for the feminine, one from the masculine, from this deck, from Carrie, from Celestial Forecast. One for the feminine, no reversals. There's, see, you guys, that's what I was saying in the beginning, disappointment. The feminine is overwhelmed with the amount of grief she's experiencing right now. It's like everything feels like it's disappointing. Oh, cards from another deck that are not supposed to be in here. All right. What's the masculine? The masculine's in a little bit stronger of an energy. Fear and anxiety. Look at this. Sadness and fear and anxiety. What's going to be their next move here? Backstabbing. Wow. See, I feel the masculine feels if they come towards the feminine, there's a lot of people they're going to let down in their life. Five of Pentacles. What is all this struggles and abandonment, guys? This is a lot on the journey right now. And we have King of Swords, intellectual power. We've got to get our mind clear here because the emotions are running really high in the collective right now. And I feel like people are really like 
overwhelmed with their emotional states, fear, anxiety, sadness. We've got to start tapping into our intellectual. All right, let's get some messages that we need to know. Be honest with them. That King of Swords is very honest. So it's about speaking your truth and being honest in your life with everyone. Lust isn't love. You already know what to do. The time has passed. There is a feeling that time has passed. But this is the message I keep getting lately is that you have the answers within. No one outside of you has your answers. If it feels wrong, it is. Anything in your life right now that doesn't feel aligned, don't even question it. Just keep trusting yourself. And yowza. Yeah, this is a yowza time for sure. You guys might be having a lot of dreams. I feel like that could be like telepathic communication from your counterpart. Let's end with one of these oracle cards. My energy when I started, when I got into this reading, guys, is just really overwhelming. I don't know if you guys feel like that lately, but I didn't feel like that before I started the reading. All right, so what's one message of advice I could give you guys? Okay, well, we got three cards here. Renewal, number 27. That's been like my number lately that I keep seeing. Regeneration begins with decay. Look at that, stripping away everything in order to rebuild here. 34 circles and repair. Look at this, renewal and repair. Number 38, making amends rather than fun times reveals the relationships. So you guys could be repairing and renewing a relationship, coming back around. Someone is gonna be coming back around and you're gonna be repairing things, having that well-needed conversation. All right, guys, I hope this reading resonates with you. I know there were a lot of different energies here. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.